Hi folks, this is Vicki at PatternPrincess.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to complete the Alpine stitch. It's a beautiful stitch and I have used two different colors of yarn here to help show some of the pretty variations that you can do with this stitch. Um, it, the, it's a two row. In order to achieve the stitch you have two rows, one of single crochet and one of the actual um, Alpine stitch itself. and with this here, I've used um, Karen Simply Soft just in a white, and then this color here is Karen Simply Soft Harvest Red. So let me just kind of go through quickly um, what I've done to this point. So I did my chain stitch, and then I did a double row of double crochet that's 20, 20 double crochet wide. Then on top of that, and it's in white, then on top of that I did one row of single crochet. So if you look real close, here's my row of single crochet. Then I did a row of the white and alpine stitch. Okay, that's where you can start to see these raised stitches. That's my row of white and the alpine stitch. Then my next row, and I just cut my um, yarn off short here because this is just a sample to show you folks, um, is a row of single crochet in red. Okay, then the next row I used white and then that was my alpine stitch. And you can see how pretty that is with just peeking that red through there. Now I didn't have to use the red. If I use the white and I just kept the same color, this is how this would look. So if we didn't have any color change, this is how this would look. We would just have our raised stitches and it would all be white and you would just see the nice beautiful texture all throughout. But then I decided I wanted to be able to show you um, how this can change the look of things. So again, this was a single crochet row this white one is the alpine row. Now I could have done this in red, but I did it in white because you can just see the difference and then this little red peeks through. So the next row that we do is a single crochet. So this red, I did single crochet. I could have done this in white, but I did it in red, <coughs> excuse me. I chose to do it in red. And then my next row, I did an alpine stitch. So in order to kind of keep consistent with kind of what I've started here to show you folks, I'm going to do a row of white single crochet and then I'll do a row of white um, the alpine stitch and then we'll begin to see now you can see the back of it take a look at the back see how the back is um, it's flat and the raised stitches are on one side I'm going to cut my yarn here the raised stitches are on the other side this is how the back looks and this is how the front looks so I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to switch over to my white yarn and then I'm going to show you how this looks. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, put my hook through, bring this yarn through, snug this one up, get my tension ready. I got to pull this down. I got to still tighten up my bread. There we go. So, what I like to do when I do my single crochet row is I chain one. And then I insert my hook right back into that first one because then that just counts as one single crochet. That chain stitch that I use is just going to be easier later on to find the stitch to put my hook in. I just, I like it when that, it just makes it easier, that's all. So there's one. And I'm just going to do a single crochet then in white all the way across. Put your yarn over and just pull through your two loops. And I'll do this all the way to the other side. And then the, when we come back the other way, I should, I'll switch over, I'll switch back over to the red because then you'll see the white yarn poking through. Just like the, the red is below. And then we'll see the white. And so then we'll, it's just a very pretty stitch. It does use a little bit of a, um, a yarn. It is a little bit of a yarn eater, I must say, but sometimes to get our texture and our patterns, we don't mind using some of the yarn. Besides, we need to have something to use our yarn stashes for. There we go. And then in the stitch here, I had to get there. There we go. Okay, so now I have my white yarn. My white's done. That's my white single crochet. Now I'm going to snip this again and I'll stick in my, I'll go back to my red. 
because then I'll do a red alpine stitch. So here we go. I'll switch over to my red, pull that through the loop, maybe, <laughs> butterfingers. And then I'll tighten up my white after I get it on the right side of the, there we go, tighten up my white. And then when you start your row of your alpine stitch, normally when you do a double crochet, which this is really what it's gonna, um, you'll see it's almost gonna consist of it um, in part of the row. But when you normally do a start a double crochet, you chain three. Well, a chain three is too tall. Because you have these stitches that go down to the row before, it becomes too tall for this. So I, so I just do a chain two. So one, two, and we can snug that up again. So this counts as our first stitch right here. So, okay, so I have my chain two because that's gonna give me the right height. Okay, so the next one, if you can see, there's this row is the alpine stitch below and it's every other one. This one comes around this one, this one comes around this post, this one comes around this post, and this one is a double crochet in the, top, in the single crochet spot. So this is the one we're gonna do the alpine stitch with, but since I have the chain two, this one's just gonna be a double crochet. So we're gonna double crochet, going right into that single crochet spot, just complete a double crochet. There we go, yarn over. Then this one here was the one that's behind a little bit. It did not have the alpine, see that? You can see where this one comes around the stitches post below, this one does not. So that one there, we're gonna go around behind in front of, we're gonna go behind this post, in front of the two posts behind it, or alongside of it, yarn over, pull through, and then pull up a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of looseness, and then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. If you don't make it just a tad bit loose and pull up like that, it will start to um, curl a little bit more on you. You don't wanna be a tight crocheter on this. So then our next one is going to be a double crochet on top of this spot. So we're going to alternate between the double crochet and our alpine stitch. So that was our double crochet. Here's that stitch that's kind of like one layer back. That one is the one we're going to go around and do our alpine stitch. So one row is always your single crochet and one row is always your alpine stitch. And it just depends what color you use. So our next one is a double crochet, just a normal double crochet. Our next one is our alpine stitch. Oop. There we go. Yarn over and our next one is a double crochet. Yarn over, our next one is our alpine stitch every other one and this just creates such beautiful texture yarn over double crochet yarn over alpine stitch yarn over double crochet yarn over alpine stitch Yarn over, double crochet, we just got a few more. This can be quite a relaxing pattern. It's a beautiful texture to it. And it's in every other stitch and it gives you a little bit of variety in your stitches and your rows. And make sure that you have a stitch with every stitch with the one below. So we have two left. So that was your double crochet on top. This one's going to be your alpine. Now, on the next row, it's going to be a single crochet. And then I have the choice of, do I have it in red or do I make it in white? What kind of a pattern do I really want to have throughout this whole thing? So let me show you how this looks. See how pretty that's starting to look? And then this is a really nice, easy blanket to have an edging on, a border. So if I did the next one, I could do the next one in red, and maybe another one in, in red, maybe another alpine stitch in red. And then 
I'd maybe switch off to the white um, and maybe, you know, keep this pattern going. It's a very, it could be, this would be lovely as a hat. So, if I, so again, I'm going to do my single crochet. It's going to be chain one, single crochet in the same stitch. And then you just single crochet on top of each of the stitches below. Whoop. And I'm just doing this in the red. I could have switched over to the white, but I'll show you. It just makes a bread a little bit more prominent in this row. And I'll start off the next row. So you can make sure that you have um, the Alpine stitch, how we'd start the, each row um, without having to back up the, the tape or anything here, the video. Tape, I'm showing my age when I say tape. <laughs> Okay, we're almost there. And remember, we want to have, we're going to have two more stitches, one here. And when you're working this, see, we have, this is, this counts as a stitch. So we got to go right into the top chain of that first chain two. And sometimes you really just got to push your hook right through there. Sometimes it's not so easy to get there. There we go. So now we have the row of single crochet done and it makes the red even more prominent. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another row of the Alpine stitch. But I'll just show you how this starts off here. Sure, I take out more yarn and then I end up putting my roll right on top of it. So we're going to chain two, one, two. Now this next one here, the Alpine stitch was here. So remember before I just did, I started with two double crochet right here and here. So the Alpine stitch is ready here. So what we're going to do is then this first one is going to get the alpine stitch. So remember the chain two counts as a stitch. As a, so we have two stitches. Now we go to the double crochet. Yarn over. Alpine stitches in the next. And then again we just continue to alter our stitches. And I'll just do one more here, and I think you have it by now here. But I'll show you how this is starting to look. I could do a row um, of white on top of this. And then, you know, do a single crochet row of white on top of this. Then I could do a red alpine on top of that. And then I could continue on with my white. Um, I don't know, I think it's a really pretty stitch. Um, this is how it looks once you get a couple of red in it, you know, just like, the, you know, you could do all red if you wanted to. All of one color. Um, it's real pretty as one color. It's pretty when you combine different things like this. Um, there, I'm sure that there's more color patterns that you could figure out with this, but it's just, it's a very beautiful stitch. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the Alpine stitch today. And please take care and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.